Hello folks, how the hell are you? I am feckin' nervous um, because as promised in my last video, I am going to try a race with 200% damage. I said in my last video I'd try and find a good combination of track and car that work well with 200% damage. So to use the 200% damage you have to have AI that kind of behave themselves, have good AIW pass around said track as well. Um, and I have found a car where the damage, the 200% damage works really realistically on it. But um, the track and com car combination are not sensible at all, actually. I've just gone, I've gone silly. Um, but yeah, this is going to be intense. So uh, just before I show you what, what we're going to use, just to show you that I am doing as I say I am doing, we're using full damage, 200%. There we are. Here is the combination. It's a DPI. Cadillac DPI around Norch Life, the Green Hell. Uh, just, uh, I'm really giving myself a challenge here. Um, I've got this car geared up to do near enough 200 miles per hour around this track, or at least on that big long straight. And uh, yeah, one mistake at those speeds, and I am toast. Um, now, uh, the reason this is not a sensible combination, like I said, the car sort of works well with the uh, uh, that damage at 200%, but the AI pass around for these cars around Norch Life aren't perfect yet. Um, also, the AI do drive this particular car um, a bit like they're in a stock car race. They will go for very dangerous overtakes. Um, they will also get right up behind you. If they get in your slipstream, they will use it and they will get right behind you. So you can't if they're right behind you, you don't want to be touching the brakes or anything else. You want to be trying to main, maintain speed. Um, it, it's going to be intense. Anyway, here are my opponent settings. I'm at 94% skill level. Uh, because, well, to talk and drive at the same time, I, I've got to have them. I, I, I was racing them at 100. But it's just going to be too difficult. It's going to be difficult as it is. Um, because at that skill level, they should be qualifying with times about the same as mine. I've got my opponent aggression down to zero. Zero, I know, right? But it's it's just anything else. And I usually have it at 70. But with these cars, this these track, the way they behave to get any kind of a safe race. And it's not going to be a safe race. They will, they will race too close. So I have to have it down there. These are my rules and regulations if you want to see that. Also, there's a bit of a physics problem. With these cars but also i've noticed in general in this sim uh there are lots of big crests here at uh, steep crests at norch life and this car's got loads of down floors yet i'm gonna have to remember to lift at all of the crests because this car just the front end lifts is something not quite right right there so if the devs at reza um could have have a look at that we are in autumn blister 2 by reza studios by the way for anyone who who doesn't know my channel uh and uh Anyway, uh, this 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 is going to be scary and intense. We got twenty minutes of racing, good conditions, rolling start. Um, yeah, I, I I may have to have several attempts at this. If I get through this, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna feel such a big sense of achievement. Uh, but there is, if you see any fear on my face through this, it's gonna be real fear because I want to try and do this in one take, but. The concentrate. I may not be able to talk uh, or commentate as I usually do through this video. I'm going to need all of my concentration. This is going to be scary. Um, we're in a qualifying session. I'm not going to run the qualifying session. Just going to skip to the end and see what kind of times they're getting. I get about a 106, uh, 20. Sorry, 206. What am I talking about? A six minutes six around here. So let's see what they're doing. I, I, I get somewhere with a late 6 minute 6, so the fastest car is doing a 6.05, 661, faster than me, and then we've got, oh, 608s are next, okay, what's the, and the slowest times are 6.15. Uh, by the way, one of the things I do love about this sim is every time you run a qualifying session, and every time you have a race, the each race is so different, because the drivers kind of have their own sort of personalities, after 80%, um, difficulty they change their setups as well so they change their gearing they change all sorts of things to suit the track I, I jumped in here before and they've been getting at the same skill level they've been getting 60 really low 605s or maybe even high 604s all the way up to uh, I don't know a 615 sometimes the feels really tight 
So say a six oh five to only sort of a a six ten. So uh, surprised to see that. Anyway, fifteenth place, twenty minutes. That's Jim. I've got Crew Chief running. I'm gonna need him. I'm gonna need him. If you don't know what Crew Chief is, Google Crew Chief. I'll leave a link to Crew Chief in the, in the description. He talks to you throughout, throughout the race. It works with most sims. Um, and it's absolutely brilliant. But if there is an accident on track, if someone's pitting, I want to know about it in advance. Uh, so, so I don't drive into the back of someone. That still might happen. But Jim should help me out. So, uh, like I said, I, 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 I've played around with the gearing a bit. Because I noticed that the cars gear themselves up a little little bit or down a bit for certain tracks. Um, and uh, just to keep me safe, I did lower the rear downforce. I'm going to put one more click of that on. Right. This is going to be intense, loud, and scary. 20 minutes of the green hell in a near enough 200 mile per hour car. Here we go. 20 minutes. Okay, Paul, are you ready? Watch for the lights. Okay. Like I said, look at that AI path there. He's using all of that curb wouldn't really want to be doing that in a DPI car and also they hit the oh, wall no. just there. Anyway, here we go. Oh, locking up a bit but we've made a place. He's right on Metal. You can see all of my damage levels down in the bottom right hand corner. We're all on green at the moment. Everything's intact. Let's hope it stays that way. Oh god! Hit that curve a bit too hard. Here we go. Onto the first big straight. And this is where you can get in trouble with this this rather strange lift. So I'm gonna There you go, I've lifted off the throttle and you still saw the front come up into the air. Don't be intimidated, keep them behind Does, you. Thank you, Jim. Doesn't seem right to me that. I don't know, what are your opinions? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, we're now full power, 193 miles per hour. So we're coming to this tight right-hander here. That car we overtook, the blue car lagging behind a bit. But we are right in the slipstream of this red car here. Try and go as fast to here as possible. But Lightly on the brakes as we come in to these tight corners, slow right down. I'm going to be so aware and so, well just so aware of the cars if I get one right beside me. Not a lot of places to overtake on this track. If you get side by side there's not much room to overtake but plenty of chance of an accident get right up behind this red car here. And I've lifted there, I don't know why I did, I shouldn't have done. Okay Paul, keep piling on the pressure. He'll make okay, okay, don't lock up, don't lock up. Easy to lock up that, that section. Little bit of rear end wiggle as we come out of the right hander there. Gradual on the brakes. Come around the left hand, a little bit of a lift. Come up the hill there. Blue car has lost a bit of time on us, but still keeping up. He's out of the slipstream, which will slow him down. Ahead is now 1.0 seconds. Whoa! That was a bit. Uh, that was a bit of a uh, butter clenching moment there. Behind that? Have we lost all oh, sight? It's getting a little bit around that corner. I am well behind these cars now. I need to get back into their slipstream to have any chance of keeping up. And the slipstream effect in these cars at these speeds with this kind of aero is quite phenomenal. You'll see that when we get onto that big main straight. Oh! I think I locked up one of the inside right tyres there. Now, 
Can we get through the carousel safely? Can the AI get through here safely? We've actually caught them there a little bit. We've got two battling in front of us here. Changed down to second there when I still should have stayed in third. Come on, we need to be in front of this guy. Thanks, Jim, I know. <laughs> Jim's pushing me to try harder. I don't want to get carried away and try too hard because any little mistake. And we're toast. All of the curve on the outside there. Good job, it's nice flat curves. Now, here is where those lift problems with the car come in. I'm gonna to have to have a little lift over this crest here, otherwise, yeah. Oh, there's a car off! That car will have, if it's touched that barrier, it will have damage. There's gonna be another lift problem here. Look at that, that's just not right. I don't think that's right. Tell me what you think in the comments. This is so intense. Two cars battling out side by side here. Oh, I just touched the car on the inside. No, don't! I touched the barrier. That was uh, that was a hell of a moment. And I did not want to fall behind there because it's the straight where I'll be able to do my main overtaking. That's now coming up. Koshkin just retired from the race. Okay, there's been a retirement. I wonder if that car that's retired was the car we saw go off there. Maybe he has hit a barrier. The car in front here, out of the three in front, the one in the middle here, is leaning down on the right hand side. It's sunken down. I think it's got suspension damage. Yes, it has got damage. So we've passed him easily. So he'll be pitting, I should imagine. I don't know what happened to him. Obviously he was further away up the field when that happened to him. He's not pitted though, he's carrying on, or is he? We did only take three cars, I need two you see behind us. We're now in 11th place. That's out of 15 cars, we've got 15 cars on track. Oh, it's a bit too late on the brakes there. Started locking up a bit, had to come off. And we've got the black car now right up behind us. And he will be pushing to get past, especially down here when he gets into our slipstream at high speed. Okay, Paul, hold your nerve, just keep it smooth. Don't I'm stop. trying to, Jim, I'm trying to. I've got to lift a little bit, else that front end comes right up in the air. Oh, I've hit the inside curb. Just, well, not hit it, just touched it. I'm going to work hard to keep him behind me. I'm going to try and keep him out of my slipstream. The AI really do take advantage of your slipstream in this sim. I do like that very much. If you can keep them out of it, you can slow them down. But he's still there. And we have to try and stay in the slipstream of this red car in front. The faster we go, the more that slipstream effect takes effect. Excuse the pun. Into this slow section we go. Can we get a good exit? Yes, decent exit using a little bit of that curb on the outside. It's not too steep, so you can. You sign supports the mistake. Oh, oh, didn't expect him to break quite so hard there. on the exit of the corner there. <laughs> no, Paul, your suspension's completely knackered. There's nothing uh, we can do there. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, the car's pretty much undrivable. Got 75% damage on the back end. Um, 
or the back suspension. 46 on the front. I'm going to have to stop the car. There's no point trying to limp it back to the pits on a racetrack that is this long. Let's have a look and see what that looks like on the replay. Whew. We'll speed this up so we can get to that incident quickly. I told you this might take a few attempts. So where is it? There we are, somewhere around here. Let's play that. And there we go. It's too much, yeah. Too much accelerate. Look at the state of the car there. It's crabbing like crazy. The car that hit me will have damage as well. Okay. Attempt number one. And I am absolutely... 20 minutes. Oh, the air temp is... Properly sweating Celsius. already, right? The track temp is 31. Let's have another go. B15. Okay, mate, get ready. And there, not the AI's fault, completely mine. Green, green, green. Okay, we are go. We've got the blue car on the outside. He's still there with side by side there. Lifting it ever so slightly for the right hander there. I'm gonna try and keep it sensible. Alright, let's try and get a good exit out of here. Stay in that slipstream. over the crest and then I am actually flat flat down at 170 miles per hour around that corner hundred and ninety two hundred and ninety four miles per hour as we take the long fast left hander there oh two cars have made contact in front of us there Ever a slight contact, but contact nonetheless. I wonder if they've done any damage, because of course the AI pick up as much damage as I do at 200%. They seem to be okay. Nearly got through on the outside there, but not quite. I take this corner flat now I'm going to lift ever so slightly and straight on the brakes yeah that blue car's definitely damaged I think because he's okay, slowing down around the corners the unfortunately that is also slowing us up and I've lifted at the wrong place there again why do I keep doing that Ever so careful breaking down this downhill section there. So easy to lock up. Whoa! Too much power on the exit. I'm not using any traction control, by the way, which this car has. That's just the way I roll. I suppose you could say no traction control, 200% damage. Yeah, I'm a bit of a masochist. Right in their slipstream now, but they are holding us up. I think they both got maybe a little bit of damage off of that contact they both had. We're so close, we're right together. But I've got to, I've got to let them have that because there was no point in trying to get through that gap. Stevenson is leading the race. Side by side. I've got to give it to them again. Try and get past these two now. Oh, 
how will they handle the carousel? Not well, the blue car there. Going right up the top. Oh, and we got a bad exit from the carousel there. Back end scrambling for grip as it goes over the uneven surface. Overtaking it on this circuit, just so treacherous at these speeds. Cars this big and wide. Oh, and I've got. Oh! Looks like that was outside track limits. And I've done it again. I've done it again. Your suspension's completely knackered. There's nothing we can do there. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Yeah. My fault again. This is me being too eager. Right. <laughs> Attempt number three at 200% damage. 19 minutes. You'll need to get on with this. P15. Thanks, Jim. <coughs> right. I guess. Third time lucky, let's say that. P15. Okay, Paul. Get ready. Ready as I'll ever be, Jim. down the inside there again, overtaking the blue car. But he's still right beside us. I'll not touch that curb on the inside. Yes, better exit that corner. That time, not touching the curb like I did last time. Front end coming up there again. Three miles an hour again. Round the long left hander. I've got it set to the actual date, so the uh, the date I'm racing on is the current date. So it's nice to see these the foliage just sort of getting to those autumnal colours. Come on man, send it already. And we're right close to the back end of the blue car there. I've said it, it, just in case you're wondering why I've said it, for a 20 minute race rather than something like a 10 or 15 minute race. 10, 20 minutes will be good for about four laps of this track. And I want to challenge myself, I want to see if I can get through an actual decent length race with this damage and survive. And also you can, so you can see whether you can, you know, survive and indeed if the AI can survive a proper length race because obviously if they end up all crashing out and having retirements I should imagine you'll be interested to see whether they can actually handle racing with 200% damage themselves because obviously there's no point in racing against the field of cars that are all crashed out by the end of the race because if you don't then you've not won the race by any achievement you've just run the race by default If I'm not making too much sense, I do apologise, but this is uh, this is intense. And yes, I did lift down okay, at the fifth well, gear. I'll make a mistake. I hope so, Jim. Oh! 
And that is. We can't fix our suspension, mate. That's your day over. No, Jim, you're absolutely right there. 100% damage on both of the front suspension studs. 78 on my front end. 72 on the back right. Uh, let's have a look at the state of the car. Yeah, that's that's a mess, all right. Look at that, you can see one wheel's completely balked in as well. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that wheel. Right, okay. Attempt number four. <laughs> and so far, this is all my fault. The air temp is 24. Here Celsius. we go. Temp 20 number minutes. four. The track temp is 31 Celsius. 15th place. Are you ready? Watch for the lights. Okay, we've not overtaken the blue car this time. He made it round the outside. This time, just I cannot get too excited. Concentrate a bit harder. Got to keep this car intact for 20 minutes. Ah. Uh, Ridiculous speeds. And I've got a lift there. See the front end of the car just lifting rather unrealistically there. It does seem to be some kind of a problem with the aero over crest like that. 193 miles per hour on the long left hander. Straight on the brakes. Come in under the Yokohama bridge there. The trees looking beautiful with these old tunnel colours, I love it. Using a bit of curving on the inside because it's kind of flat. Why on earth I changed down at first there, I don't know. Still going. Let's try and keep it smooth, Paul. Try and keep it smooth. Come on. Stay close. Keep the pressure up. Oh, I'm doing my best, Jim. Right, don't lift around here this time too early. I don't lift it too late. Oh, Paul, your suspension's completely <laughs> knackered. There's nothing we can do there. <laughs> the disappointment in Jim's voice there. Let's have a look. Oh, the state of it. Look at the back wheel. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, we've lost a wheel, in fact. Oh God, no wonder Jim's disappointed. Right, attempt number five. Attempt number five and so far all my fault. With this. P15. Ah, okay. Here we go. This is so hard and terrifying. Just touched us, even though we're right up on the curb there, he really didn't give us much room. And we've already got 
one tiny percentage of damage to our front splitter, I guess, there. And him just touching the front of the car there. Come on! Stay in that slipstream. Little bit of lift. Now look at that front end lifting up like that. Really shouldn't be doing that. Oh! Driver, we're ready. Gonna slow down. I wanna, I wanna get caught in that. That car's got a lot of damage by the looks of it. Look at the state of that. And yeah, he's slowing down. He's lost quite a bit of his top speed. His air is damaged. Probably some suspension damage. He's holding up the red car and myself. We try and get past him as soon as possible. He's just gonna be a hazard now. Oh god, this is tight. And I'm grounding out. You can hear the car grounding out down that dip there. I'm gonna try and get past this stricken car. Red car having just as much trouble as me getting past him. So hard to overtake on this track. Gotta find a way past him. Stick with him, keep him under pressure. Right, finally got that corner right. A little bit of lift in the right place, but not too much. Oh, getting skittish. Ah! Got nervous there. Lost concentration for a second. Rest of the field are getting away from us. Right, this is where. Ah, oh, this is where we've got to do it. But they got a better exit than us. on the edge. Come on red car, if you can get past that stricken black car, that'll give me a chance to as well. We're in the slip stream, we're getting past, come on red car, go for it! Get past him for God's sakes! Oh no, no, no! Nearly in the wall. Is he going for it? Is he going for it? Come on, red car! Stevenson He's not getting past him! Do I go for the inside or the up? Uh, going for the inside. Right, yes, they've both screwed it. Oh no! They've both gone wide. The black car's hit the wall and it's been bounced back into the track. He's hit me. I've now got. A bit of damage, 50% damage on the front splitter, or front end. 23% damage on the steering, on the suspension, on the right front strut. My steering's a bit balked, and it's not cornering so well. When we go around left-handers with that right-hand arm damage like that, it's still driving. Captain Lovren, the head is now 0.6. Oh my god. It's not turning well at all. And with that damage to the front end, I bet it's going to make the front end lift even more. Yep. Silly amount of lift due to that. Knackered front end. Ah. Oh. All right, Paul. 15 minutes left. That's oh. 15 minutes. Nice and smooth. Don't overdrive the car. Let's have a look. Now.
Nabutovsky has now retired. Not too much damage visually, but I can certainly feel it. Let's just have a quick look at that lift as you come over. Just have a look at this lift. As you come over that crest. Oh, that, there's where the damage was done. So he's hit the outside and smacked back down into me. That's what did the damage. And... Here we go. And it, look at that lift. Let's just see that again. In slow motion. Really slow it down here. It just comes up like that. Anyway. Attempt, what is it? I'm starting to lose count. Attempt number six. Attempt number six. And so far, it's only one of these crashes has been in any way, shape, or form the AI's fault. AI's fault. Can I speak? I'm sweating like crazy. Right. Attempt number six. 19 minutes. You really need to Here get we on. Heads up, we're going green. Two cars! Two cars already! Green car there, just... Just paint scraping the wall. Probably hasn't done any damage though. Nice one, Paul. Good start. We're riding in slipstream. Gonna have to lift the crest so that front end doesn't. Yeah, there it goes. Flat, I'm flat. All the way around there, flat. To the floor. One hundred ninety-three. One hundred ninety-four this time. Oh! Around the long left hander. A bit of lift from the front end as well as we did. best we've done so far in terms of uh, the start of the race at least two cars up out of 15 now in 13th place okay outside wheels on the curb just there just touching it ah yeah I did lift there I did lift on the exit in fifth gear. Get this corner right. That's him already. I preempted the wrong corner there. I thought it was this. That was the tight right hander, and I was thinking it was going to be this slightly easier right hander here. Alright, just don't lock up on the way down. Black and red car got very close to our rear end there. Look at those beautiful trees on the mountain. Or well, the big hill at least. This 
Tesla are all going hell for leather. So we're not catching them that easy. Old train of them there. the green car. Now do we go outside or inside on the carousel? I'm going to go inside. How are the AI going to have... Oh dear! Look, look! One of the AI got a little bit sideways there through the carousel so I deliberately slowed down. Didn't want to get caught in an accident. Closing you down. The gap has come down to I've had to play quite hard. And that slowed down the black and red car behind me. Catch it up again. Breaking over the crest. Using that tiling on the outside there. Slow in, fast out. Oh. The inside line oh! Nearly came a cropper there, but it was slow. That might be outside track limits. Black and red car really having a look at every little mistake I made. He's having a look. Any gap I leave. Now watch the lift as I come over here. I lift it off there and it's just airborne. And here as well. Whoa. But flat out through this section. And we are gaining. Remaining 15 minutes to go. Ooh. And we've got a car that's gone wide there. To hit another car that could have come He's picked up damage on his right hand side there. Oh no! He just moved over on us. Both cars behind us there with damage, you can see it. the front end of that car leading into the ground on one side. And from that little touch we've now picked up 4% of damage on our front spoiler, that's going to, or on our front end, that is going to affect the aero, it's going to affect the downforce. As we hit 187 miles per hour. A little bit earlier on the brakes there, there would be just preempt any uh, lack of down force grip on the front end because of that damage. Oh, looking sliding a bit. We're now in 11th place out of 15 cars. Maybe a little bit over cautiously now. And I will be very cautious over this crest here because with that damage at the front we may get a lot more lift than usual. Oh, lifted off just at the right time there. Got over it quite well. There's the uh, black and red car. I'm going to try and keep Matt my slipstream. He will use it to get past. I want to put some space between me and him. So close to us. Okay, Paul. Don't let this guy distract you. Our front end damage has definitely affected the aero. It's causing more drag. Problem around these slow corners. I'm telling you, folks, I am sitting here soaked right now. I'm sweating so hard.
try to steer the back end around that corner there. Two cars battling here. Hopefully we can use their slipstream as they battle. I'm going for the overtake. Oh, it's so close. We're side by side. I just caught the back of his head. Oh, God. I just caught his back end a little bit. There was a bit of contact. I got 12% damage on the front end. It's not going to help. Halfway through, and the blue car behind is just got a very bad exit out of the carousel. Giving us a bit of a chance to escape from him. Alright, Paul, we're halfway home. The fuel will be tight. We think you'll get to the end, but we're not sure. I'm Bloody well hope so, Jim. The gap behind is now 0.6. Make him do all the work. Focus on your exits. <laughs> I'm doing plenty of work here myself, mate.
and six. Oh. Give you some idea of how terrifying this must be a real life crikey that really slowed down and almost went to the back of him. around that corner than I was due to that damage at the front affecting my aero is it not so bad around the slower corners but the high speed ones yes oh got a bit unsettled there oh that was scary Five minutes, 22 seconds to go. Can I make it? Oh, God. Scary bit of luck up going down the hill there. Sorry, folks, I've slowed down a bit, but I got a bit nervous now. I want to finish this race. Okay, Paul, five minutes to go, five minutes left. Cars behind me now catching up. But if you can see that in the mirror there. Your quick rearward shot, there you go. And he's gaining, he's in my slipstream, he's coming past. On the right hand side, there he goes. But now we're in his slipstream. And he's he's slow around that corner than I was. Oh! The brake lights came on when I didn't quite expect them to. Through the carousel again, what's going to happen here? Got one car going around the outside there. The car went following us on the inside. And he's overtaken the car that went around the outside! Maybe that's a slow car with some damage, or maybe it's just bad driving. which I've been doing a pretty good example of. <laughs> the bad driving, that is. Whoa! Tentative moment there. That's all the back end was going to go. That red and white car does seem to be slightly leaning down on the right hand side, so maybe he does have some suspension damage going on there. The captain Lopez in front is now 1.2 seconds. And we're going to lift. Oh. Out. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho. using all of the curb on the inside and on the out there. Oh, red car having a problem, and he definitely does have damage. Can you see that on one side of the car there? Got quite a bit of it. By the looks of things, off we go. Goodbye, Mr. Red. He is really slow. We're in tenth place out of fourteenth, but we still have two minutes to go. Just two minutes left. Two minutes to go. So we will be crossing the line before that two minutes is up. So we will be having another lap. Of the Nord's life, the green hell. Got one more lap to make. I didn't expect that, but I kind of concentrate. One more lap to go. That lap time was six. One more lap to go, and carrying damage as well, albeit minor, but. 
damage that is affecting the performance of the car. Nevertheless, I lifted quite heavily there, we didn't get any, for some reason, didn't get any lift at all. Oh, I did lift early there, so it's probably why. Right. 182 round that corner, we started off doing 194, 193, 194 round there, so that's how much speed we lost in the aero damage, and uh, also 3% down on engine power, that's how much just through normal running the engine has uh, worn over the course of this now just over 20 minute race Ooh. stop looking at your damage and concentrate on the road, pull Side section so I'm getting closer due to slow corners. Oh, oh don't don't walk it! Definitely gaining. I just, just touched probably about a sixth of my wheel, my right hand wheel on the grass there. <laughs> the moment I felt it, oh! Yeah, and I am lifting quite, I'm not being so brave with that corner now because I'm just. You know, it's the last lap and picked up damage. Oh no! Oh ho! Big slide! Big slide, but we caught it! Oh! Messed up the carousel there, ended up on the outside of it, but held it on getting sloppy. Mind you, it looks like the cars ahead didn't get through there too quickly themselves. We have definitely lost time on them. That, those two little slides made me quite nervous though, so I might be slowing down a bit. Yeah, it's definitely affected my confidence. Holy 
holy moly. Mother of motorsports. V8 be her name. Cross. I am soaking. So we were reaching about 187 mile an hour down this dip earlier. Our speed is now down to 181. Engine damage has gone up to 3%, a little bit of a look up. But That's it, we're done. Across the line! Oh my god, that was... Whew. That was intense! That was so intense! 20 minutes of the launch life are on 200% damage! <laughs> <laughs> oh, as on my arms. Yeah, yeah, go on mate, you go on past. I, I'm, go on, off you go. I need to find somewhere to park this thing up. There we'll do. 10th place out of 14th, 200% damage. I am. <laughs> Bear with me a moment. Oh. I don't know if the camera can pick this up the state of me this is a pretty dark top so you probably can't see it but it's it's soaked oh man <laughs> well, I did it <laughs> I did it survived 20 minutes of the launch life on 200% damage uh, <laughs> right well Thing is, is we've done it. Shall we? Shall we just see what could have happened? Here's what could have happened. Here's things that have gone totally badly wrong. Let's just try and. Oh, there we go. And the car won't move. Completely ruined suspension on the right hand side. Both back and front end. Let's have a look at. Uh, there's no spoiler left, obviously. <laughs> the state of that. Oh, look at those front wheels. One pointing straight, <laughs> one wheel way over there on the corner, the apex of the corner. One wheel just turning straight inwards. The back end completely gone. The back brake disc all buckled up as well. <laughs> as that's the how things could have gone. As as they pretty much did on the first, what was it, five attempts? Was that attempt number six? Ah. <laughs> oh. Right, I need to go and uh, get the replay footage ready so I can put it together so you can have the uh, inside and trackside cameras for you. Hope you've enjoyed that. If you like my channel and you want to carry on supporting me, give us a sub. Thank you, Reza, for this 
got awesome 200% damage and yeah if you do want to support me then if you want this channel to survive do me a favor and hit subscribe may seem like a small thing to do but it enables me to make more videos for you by hitting that button you can help us survive subscribe and keep this channel alive don't talk nothing don't take no time come on now keep this channel alive